so that's why I wanted to tell the story. This was a story about my, my state, the one I was born in, the state I loved, the land I loved. Edward H. Peoples is an associate professor at VCU whose work regarding equality is still referenced today. He is also a recognized Navy veteran who served his country with pride. There I was told that I was defending a nation that was the only democratic country in the world. Uh, and we were fussing every day, Kennedy and then later Johnson, about how horrible the Soviets were with their cruel human rights. And now I come home after my service in behalf of democracy, and I find that, that these a little coterie of men, white men, who just didn't want to pay taxes for educating black children, shut the schools down for five years. This news outraged people who began his project of photographing these segregated schools. They said that it was equal. I just couldn't believe it. I had seen a few of the rural schools, and I noticed that they were shacks, essentially. This is one of the shacks which some students had to attend. Peoples traveled the state photographing several of these locations. A lot of them, not a lot, but several were inclined to be sympathetic with the black children who were out of school, and they would want to tutor and things. And administration um, of Longwood, you know, put their foot down. And, uh, uh, of course, that was everywhere in Virginia. At UVA, it was the same. Uh, and, uh, and the reason it was is because the General Assembly was the same. They didn't want anybody discussing or doing anything good for black people. It just was, uh, it was a very oppressive regime. I call it a, uh, a polite Soviet Union back then in the 50s and, um, and, and uh, even into the 60s. The Moton Museum, which sits at the edge of Longwood's campus, was actually one of these segregated schools. Cookie Scott is Longwood University's first African-American graduate in 1972 and discusses her thoughts on segregation. Now, I speak on a lot of topics, so I've been to Longwood talking about my experiences at Longwood, and partly I think history is very important. But, you know, I still worry that in 2013, we're still dealing with racial issues that we should not be addressing. And so uh, raising awareness, um, letting people know where we've been and uh, where we are, and particularly where I think we need to go, I think. While both of these stories are rich in historical value, it is one student's photography exhibit which truly brings the story full circle. Jamie Gardner is a Longwood senior who has gone to the original sites of people's photography and done a 50-year retrospect showing the sites for what they have become today. It was a very interesting experience um, knowing that somebody had been there before photographing in that same location. Um, and there's this moment when everything just kind of lines up perfectly and you hear the birds and you hear like the wind blowing and you kind of start to picture exactly what that place looked like 50 years ago. So it's a really interesting experience. And without him, there wouldn't have been any record for me to go back and take pictures of them. And I think that um, our projects, they work really well together because with my work, certainly it wouldn't exist without his. Um, I might have a couple schools without his work, but really, I think it's the two together that make it as um, impactful as it is.